This is Tech IC. Hopefully, you're here for that. If not, you can stay. It's cool. Um, yeah, and welcome to our new venue. So, what are we? We're at City Tech. Uh, we're an unaffiliated collection of informal meetups. Um, well, we're just one of them. So. But we're, we're, we're one of the coolest. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, now we gotta start over. <laughs> Cancel Sunday. <laughs> Cancel. All right. Uh, disclaimer: We exist as an educational entity. We do not condone any illegal activity. Utilizing any information presented here, code of conduct. Uh, too long. Don't read. Don't be an ass. Um, we have final say. If you have any issues, let us know. Um, you know, we don't we don't condone any sort of harassment or anything like that. So, if you're an ass, you get kicked out. Uh, business in the prep party in the back end still works. Um, so <laughs> up here, uh, we got talks. Back there, we got um, we got drinks. So, guys, we we, uh, we we made a switch. We have a full service bar. Uh, make sure to tip the waste staff or tip the bartender. Um, Yay! Yeah. <laughs> we got uh, bathrooms back there. Uh, pizza on the side here. So, feel free to help yourself with some pizza and, and get some drinks. Sponsors, location. You're in a deer liner. Um, we've got sponsorship opportunities available, so if you are looking to sponsor us, or if you have, know anyone that might be interested, let us know. Um, we can talk more about what the sponsorship package looks like. So if we're looking for sponsors, we'd be, we'd be happy to bring them on. Tonight's agenda. Um, only about 34 minutes behind. Um, so this is the 101. We'll do the news. Our first uh, pre presentation is Tim doing Bloodhound. And the second one is Mike Colbert. Colbert? Colbert? Okay. Uh, who are you and how did you get here? We're doing a reverse panel. It's going to be awesome. Next month's agenda. Oh, hold on. I did the facts here. Zach, you got to look. <laughs> <laughs> so, first talk. Oh, I don't know the order. But Cody is going to do something awesome. And the last one. I'm going to do that again because that was really cool. <laughs> you asked for it. You begged for it. You nagged for it. The one, the only, Zach Zapp is car hacking talk. Woo! <laughs> disappointment. <laughs> blinky, blinky text is, is overselling it. All right. Um, this is the board. That's us. Uh, everybody brings us here. Um, website, email, we've got to catch all. Uh, Twitter is sec underscore IC. YouTube, we still don't have that custom URL, so we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Um, they've introduced like a few dozen hoops you have to jump through, so we're we're getting there. Uh, Slack. Slack is the best way to get a hold of us. Go to our website, click Slack along the top, or just scroll down. Uh, you'll get a chance to sign up, put in your email address, we'll send you an invite link. It's super easy. There's 82 people in there, we'd love to see more. Upcoming cons. Uh, next one is GurCon. Yeah. I didn't skip any, did I? Oh, uh, yeah. Gur. Corn con is. Corn con is right after GurCon. Uh, that one's in Davenport. That's Saturday, Sunday, right? That's 8 and 9. Davenport, Moline. Uh, Davenport, Sunday. But St. Ambrose, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 So I missed CornCon. Uh, is it corncon.com or anything? CornCon.org. CornCon.org. Just Google it. Google it. <laughs> if, if you're an information security person and you can't find the corn con info, we'll help. We'll, we'll help. We're not going to be jerks. We'll help. You. Um, so DerbyCon, Louisville. Did I say that right? Go on. Louisville. Louisville. And then Wild West Hacking Fest in Deadwood, South Dakota. So. Um, Hit us up, uh, Benson Khan's channel in Slack. Up next, we got our merch conquer. It's a new, a new, uh, new event. You ready? I got a Slack this for you. Did you slide it? Yes. Did you guys wear it? You have all of So we have you know, our patches, standard patches, $5 each donation. Goes straight to us. Uh, and this month we have a special new edition, the Step AC blockchain. 
It's a change with a block on it. Collect the suggested donations, five dollars for that one. It depreciates far less than than most cryptocurrencies. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's way more stable. Uh, stickers right up right here on the counter. If you guys are first time comers, grab some stickers. If not, oh shit, camera. Oh shut the camera. Uh, grab some stickers, or if you just want more stickers, grab some stickers. We got a bunch. Uh, the other cool thing we have is uh, shirts on Teespring. So if you go to Teespring slash SecIC, uh, we have our new official shirts. They look nothing like this, but they look exactly like our logo on a shirt. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Uh, but Teespring kind of gives us that ability to be creative with stuff, so we'll have a lot more um, fun and different kind of shirts to come. <laughs> In the future, I promise. But that closes on um, it's ten days left. Yeah, closes September third, and then I think it ships out. I'm still new to the whole Teespring thing, so uh, from what I gather, we set like a minimum order, and then they send them when it, the campaign's over. I don't know. So we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of unclear, but man, you'll get shirts if you order one. I know that much. Um, outside of that. I think that's it for merch, right? Anyone making hats or something? Right. Financial transparency. The treasurer. All right. So every month we go over our account and whatnot. We are completely transparent about our financials. Uh, you can see that our balance last month was nine hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, the expenses we had were, were pizza, ice, drinks. Those were two hundred and thirty dollars. Uh, what we had. Uh, money coming in was uh, based off of donations and the sale of badges were $90. So that was a deficit of $140, which the current bank account then is about $840. Uh, on the left, you can kind of see the trends over the different months and where we're at. Uh, next up, we'll talk about the news. Uh, so if you're new here tonight, uh, we usually try to go over five uh, news top security related uh, topics in five minutes. So the first one tonight is about a teenager who was able to uh, get access into Apple's network. Uh, he was able to expel about 90 gig, uh, gigs of data. Uh, the FBI ended up getting involved and they uh, found out that he was in Australia, got their uh, federal police involved. And uh, the way he got hacked was he bragged about it over WhatsApp. And then he, uh, where he kept all the files was in a folder called Hacky Hack Hack. <laughs> <laughs> this one was submitted by a SecIC member, so the 20-year uh, patent on teledil, tele, teledildonics has expired. Uh, it was originally patented in 1998, uh, but the actual idea was uh, thought up in 1975. So what we can all kind of expect on the market, at least what I'm thinking might happen, is Internet connected sex toys, so that's going to be really fun to deal with. Can we, can we take a moment to appreciate that tiny little teledildonics? <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. And this is the actual true uh, drawing from the patent office. So, I mean, it's a real thing. So, uh, next thing, so uh, if you attended Black Hat, your information was exposed online. Um, someone at the conference found out that he set his Android phone close to the badge and found out that it was NFC enabled. Uh, from there, he saw that there was an open API, he enumerated through it, and he was able to pull, uh, he said he didn't pull down everyone's information, but he calculated it was something like six hours or something uh, that he would have been able to pull it down. He contacted the company. He had a rough time getting in contact with them, uh, but then ended up finding out that that was actually a legacy system that never got decommissioned and was just sitting, sitting there exposed to the internet. <laughs> they finally responded on LinkedIn. Yeah, they got the name <laughs> on LinkedIn. Yep. And uh, yeah, the name of that is uh, V Card Reader. And I, I, I'm not familiar with them, but maybe check your phones and see if, if you've used them in the past. Who knows? Maybe from another conference you might have been exposed. Uh, the next one is uh, about jackpotting. Uh, so, uh, the FBI alerted, I think it was about last month, they were saying that these attacks were going to happen and that they had some intelligence on it, but they didn't know exactly where they thought. But it has happened in the United States, but they thought that this was going to be a lot larger attack. Well, it actually ended up happening in India, 
and they were able to pull $13.5 million uh, by jackpotting ATMs. Uh, that, that was a majority of the, the money that they were able to steal. Uh, if you're not familiar with jackpotting, basically you go to an ATM, you run some code on it, and it just spits out all the money. Uh, and then the other uh, portion, uh, $2 million looks like, uh, was actually taken through, uh, if you're in the financial industry, you've probably heard of SWIFT, that's how a lot of uh, uh, accounts and balances are spent. They were actually on the bank's network and used that to actually move funds around. And then lastly, uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, there is a uh, exploit, oh, I, in, there was a CD issued for OpenSSH. It allows for uh, uh, user guessing. So uh, there was a recent push to their uh, GitHub uh, that what it changed uh, was when you uh, put in a certain uh, username, uh, it'll give you, depending on if that user exists, it'll give you a certain response, and if it doesn't, it gives you another response. So you can if take a list of uh, unknown users, run that through, and see if you can find it. Um, there is a uh, 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 Python script available for that if you want to try that out on your own. I do believe that there's an update. All right, and then finally, uh, one of the other things that we go over is jobs every month. So if you're looking for a job, or if you know of an employer that's hiring, uh, go ahead and yell them out. Is anybody looking for a job? Okay. Cody, go away, go away, go away. Brandon, I'm school. No, I'm sorry. Okay. My name's Cody. I do a lot of stuff with these guys in SecDSM. Uh, looking for a pen test job or some kind of SOC analyst thing. Um, I've been a system admin for the past five, seven years. I don't really kind of lost count at this point. So um, yeah, hit me up on Slack. Uh, I think the handles could be coming on both SecDSM and SecIC. Yep. Relocation or remote? Uh, I'd like to stay in the Des Moines area, possibly in Iowa City, and yeah. think about it, and then remote would be great if possible. So. Okay. Anybody else looking? Okay, I just don't want to make a speech. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? Or? Uh, just a standard IT job, pretty much IT. anything. Industry. Networking, system administration, uh, does it matter? Really doesn't matter. I'm just working as a repair technician at a video game store right now. Okay. So as soon as I graduate from Kirkland, I'm looking. Awesome. Okay, sounds good. Does industry. anybody know at where they work they're hiring or know? Uh, interested in internships? Yeah, no, go on Twitter. Uh, for circulars, we are officially looking for another engineer, but we're going to do one because I don't want to die. And Dawson's leaving back to school and going back to work time, so there's a chance that I'll die. So. Okay, so pro circular. Uh, I do know if, you're, if you're looking to relocate, I think I did see that Iowa State was hiring for a security analyst or something like that. So there you go, Governor. Keep that in mind. Anybody? Anybody else? Aegon's got a security, a senior. Uh, security engineer. Uh, hey, guys, looking for a senior security engineer. We're at CR Louisville, Denver. Uh, Louisville Swan, CR, I believe. I don't know about Denver. Denver might be possible. CR Louisville. Cedar Rapids, Louisville, if you want to move, Denver. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, so everybody hear that? Wayne, Wisconsin Independent Networks is looking for a systems administrator engineer in the Cedar Rapids area, it sounds like. Anybody else? A lot of jobs right now, it's like. We do have a job channel in Slack. Yep. So, I mean, if, if a recruiter hits you up, if you got anything you want to share, feel free to share it in there. If you want folks to be available, you know, feel free to do so. And we share that with Tech DSM. Yeah, and we do have recruiters in there as well. So if you're looking, get in there and find the recruiters and say, hey, you know, I'm looking. And it's, yeah, it's shared with the one. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. okay. And talks are up next. Right. So go ahead and get some pizza, yeah. get some beer. Or some